A tēnā nō tātou i roti te manaaki tanga o tō tātou ariki a i honga mano Mato o tama wairo tapu ane hera pō o te maa ngā he tau toka mai ai e nei a kene ai Kia ora tātou And so the idea behind what we were doing today is because it was meant to be just one final video But we actually wanted to uh, capture the story over eight sessions with eight different people and so this video here is the, f the the last, the final video of this Marama Tangana Minute journey. And so here we've been able to uh, pull along the Heamano o te Kimiti o te, mat o te Hahi Ratana, te Kimiti Matu o te Hahi Ratana, Thomas Phillips. And so here I have with us uh, a Pononga, Pononga Tuturu o Iho Nga Mano. And if he was to apply um, and use his spiritual CV, it would be quite a formidable CV. And so I know he's he's, uh, yeah, yeah, so he's going to get a bit of whakama and he's going to run away from our corridor. Um, <laughs> 1977. My boss is listening. You know? <laughs> 1977. Um, our Apotro Rita here served as a choir master for 10 years. Uh, following that in 1987, he took up a tūranga to become a hepara for our people uh, in Pukekoi. 1987. And did you go Akunga Wairua or straight to Rita? No. Me and my cousins, yeah, we were all iri iri uh, Porto Wairua when we were born. Ah, kia ora. When my, uh, when your, your dad was born, they'd forgotten, not, not forgotten, the Komiti Matua here decided to do away with it. See, our, our grandfather said, he kākaru mahana tēnā. Mm. And we look, put the Porto Wairua on us and we have it, when we get older, do you keep it or uh, put it away and take on another thing? And we were all our portal away when, when your dad was born. This community down here thought, nah, we will stop that. And so that's when the Apunga Apotara Waitara thing started. Cool. So you caught the wave before the heat came in. Well, yeah, no choice in the end. <laughs> so now from a choir master to an Apotorita based in Pukekohe, you are now here in Rat based in Ratana <laughs> as the official chair of the Ratana established church. Yeah. So how has that journey been for you? How has it been? Yeah. Bro, I wouldn't have planned it. I didn't plan it. <laughs> and I wouldn't recommend the, the trip either. It was just, you know, Ngari, he wanted, to, wanted me to do a whole heap of stuff and I didn't want to do some of it. But I ended up sick and ill. And so after after going through all of that illness, I sort of realised, oh shit, I should be doing something else about this. Excuse my language. But that that's it deeply and serious now. My daughter actually she had a lot to do with me being where I am now. I, I came out of hospital after three months in hospital and that was only like two months ago. I said, Mama, I don't want to do this. I, I wanna go, I want to get out of here. And she said, by oh, hell, we've been through hell and you're going to, we got this dad. Oh, okay then, thank sure. you. So that, that's, it. That, that's the path. It's Ka a rough pai. one, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Choice. Oh, well, Kapai, that's some firm and raw words from a true servant of Ihoa. Uh, sometimes, and that's, I guess, some of the, I guess, the challenges that we face as servants of Ihoa. Ihoa will push us into places sometimes that we're very reluctant to get into. Absolutely. But our Porto Rita, um, he's a, um, a humble servant of Ihoa and he has, um, he's done what's required, I guess, in terms of the tohu that Ihoa has given to him. So, um, carrying on into some of our apartheid to wrap up this 100 day journey, what is the most important message people can hear about the Ihoa of Tama. The Tama came to the earth. The Tama returned on the 8th of November. The thing of it is though, we need to sit down and have a good court in it. Because everybody is saying that the Mangai is the Tama. I don't agree. For myself, I'm saying that the Mangai was put here by the Tama to prepare the way for the coming back of the Tama. Kilda. The Tama didn't get back here until 1924 on the world tour. Then the Tama made himself available and uh, you know realised himself. When the, when the tour party went to England, that's when the Tama actually was with the Mana. The Tama actually sent the, the Waitara Tapu Nga and the Hirapuno back, and the Tama took over the world too. And so all of those uh, predictions that were made about, um, you know, the war and all that sort of stuff, it's because the Tama was furious 
he was being ignored by, by the king and all that. Oh, how dare you? It wasn't the Maui. Someone, someone was really reacting and said, right, no stone will be left unturned. Uh, you know, uh, no, no, no stone will be left here. Without, uh, you know, it's going to get thrown. No, England, London was going to get bombed. And it was the Tama predict, predicting that. Kia ora. Anyway, Hi. The, the tour party went to Sri Lanka and then the Tama left them. Kapai. So the message about the Tama is something that's really important for people to understand about yep. their day of living. All of us. Kapai. Because we're workers for the Tama. Kia ora. Next time you have a look at your uniform, you have the Tohu and the A and the O. The A and the O is the Tama. Kia ora. I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. You are wearing the Tama all the time. Kapai. Kapai. So, as to wrap up this kōrero, what is the responsibility of our people heading into the next 100 years? Just that, just that, realising that they are servants of Mōkai. You, you don't tell the tapa what to do, he tells you what to do, but you've got to lower yourself, humble yourself down so that you can hear him talking. Yeah, otherwise you'll just uh, walk on by beyond you. But our job is to Temu Tehuhe put it to me this way, Ratana, you are the conduit talking to us the church. We are, we are the means to bring together all of those folk, every folk. And look at what happened on the Malay here. You know, it's not as if we were the chiefs or anything like that, it's just that everybody was here. You know, we are the Maru Iko, and that's what the Maori wanted, everything under the Maru Iko. Really. Yeah, it didn't matter where you, where you came from, it was Chile. Chile. Kaupai. So, uh, given this day, there's been a lot of preparation um, and anticipation for this day that we've had here. Yeah. Um, what's another, maybe another final message that you would have for our Moru, um, Te Iwi Māori, um, and people of all nations? Never ever expect the path that you're going to take, even with work a program like this to be easy. When when Hartana wants to disrupt things, they will work very hard to stir people up so that they're not doing what they should be doing, causing people to argue, all that sort of stuff. You know, the, this sort of stuff happened, playing with money, all that sort of stuff. It happened with our with our with our Roku. So that the, by the time we got through, you know, the picky make a hickey. Mano mano. Mm. You know, mano mano. But at the end of the day, <laughs> when you get to it, ah, what then? Aye. Ah, what you? Well, a little bit anyway. <laughs> Aye. Choice. No, so, and, and the, biggest, the biggest thing was seeing you fellas Aye. coming from, from the uh, Motu. Aye. From Namotu. Everybody loved me. Thank you. Kia ora. Oh, well, those were some awesome words from uh, the chair of the Ratana Established Church. Um, he was able to share a bit about, really quickly about his journey and some of the important things that he believes that we as Moruhu um, and just mere humans need to understand yeah. about this important thing yeah. and the responsibilities that we've got going forward. And so, just quickly Fano, this is the last Marmatanga in a minute. Um, I'm going to get out of these clothes, I'm going to try and enjoy what's left of this hui. But to you fellas out there on this 8th day of November, Mihi aroha, mihi morehu atu ki a koutou. Um, always remember, we are a chosen people, tātou te iwi Māori. Never ever to forget that. And so, i roti i tēnā, mihi tēnā ki a koutou katoa, i roti te manaki tango to tātou ariki, te maanga he tōtou ko mai, ae nei, ake nei. Ai, nō reira, me, me kapi to tātou hui. Ok, nō reira. Uh, e iho ngā mano, ane mātou, e tuku whatu whakao, Moi me te whakawhetai atu i kia koe, mo tō manaki tanga pai ki rongi a mātou i te roanga o tēnei kaupapa tai atu ki tēnei wā. I tēnei wā i hoa ngā mano, ka ino i kaha atu i kia koe, mo tō aroha tō manaki tanga ki rongi a mātou i roto i ngā mahi katoa i hapai ngia te kaupapa o tēnei mārumatanga. Nō reira i hoa ngā mano, uhi a iho, te manaki tanga ngā nehera hei homa mātou i te ao i te pō, whakawāti atu i ngā mea kino o te ao o te rewera o te tangata. Nō reira iho, tirohi o mai ki a mātou, ngā pononga e whakapono tūturu ana ki a koe, humai ki a mātou te taro, kia piki te ora, piki te kaha, piki te mārumatanga me te rangi mārita, ki rungi a tātou e ngā wā katoa. Nō reira iho ngā mano, 
e whakapono na mātou ki a koe, e hei kingi kurori au ngā mea katoa, kei te rangi tau torona, kei te whenua tau toranga waiwai, kia whakapaingi a tau ingoa tapu ngā wā katoa. O tira, e te māngai e ngā ane hei rapone te tokotori tapu. Whakaungia mai mātou ki roti tokau te aroha noa, mai pai hiri te ana mātou ki te rangi maeritanga i ngā wā katoa, māu i te māngai, he kai āwhina, he kai tau toko mai, ai e nei, ake nei, ai. Kia ora koe. Kia ora.